So we will start our session today after a break in between. Chadurmukha samaram bham vakbhada jayadri madhyamam vasmada jayadri patiyandam vande guru paramparam ragadi rogan sadatan shaktan asheshakaya prasradan asheshan aul sukya moha aradidan jakhana yopurva vaidyaya namostu dasmai. So we were uh, discussing about, uh, let me just recollect. We saw that Itham Adho Madhyurdha Sanyveshina Doshatrayena Shariram Agaram Iva Sthonatrayena Sthirikritam Sthonatrayena Sthirikritam We were uh, looking into the various aspects of doshas. How do they operate in different forms or different modes? Adahacha Dehasya Sthirikaranadu Doshaha sthunaha idi uchindi. That point we saw. Ataha cha dehasya sthiri karanadu doshaha sthunaha idi uchindi. Then dharanadu dhatavaha. So two terms. One is sthunaha. Like pillars giving support to a house strong pillars which support doshas are also three strong pillars which support the sharira from that uh, asti to vinashyati journey that is what we saw one and then dharanad dhadavaha doshaha dehasya dharanad dhadavaha iti utsyande dharanad because of the act of holding or bearing or supporting, that also we we saw. Actually, that needs more elaboration. We will come to it later. Why should we discuss all these things? While we are actually, we started from our, our discussions at the present discussion from Samprapti, isn't it? Yadha dushtena doshena yadha ja anubisarpada nirvrasti rama yasya sau samprapti jadi ragadi. This is where we started from all these discussions. Yo, so the problem is yadha dushtena doshena. Yadha dushtena doshena. So we should know what dosha is. We should have a correct understanding about what is meant by the term dosha in Ayurveda. Generally, what, what happens is we, we attribute certain functions to the dosha according to our, our understanding. That understanding may be some sort of a preoccupied understanding. We, have, we are all coming from, some, uh, from a different background. We all studied physics, chemistry, biology. We read many other things related nothing to the Ayurvedic background. So we designate the doshas with the certain attributes which we find as comfortable. But in the Shastra, there are some special uh, contexts where the Dosha Shabda is used. Or there are descriptions in the Samhitas which will give us a correct idea about what, uh, what one, one learner, one student should understand from the spectrum of meanings that is applicable to dosha. So that is why we find sthunaha, then dharanad dhadavaha. Then that continues. That description continues. Next we find uh, malini karanad Ahara malatvaducha malaha. Malini karanadu. Ahara malatvaducha malaha. This is a very important point. Actually, before coming to this point, even I went through a one-on-one -on -one discussion with many uh, experts in Kerala, at least. To get any new idea about how this 
statement is to be understood. We will come to it. So we find Malini Karanad Ahara Malatwad Cha Malaha. So two things. Number one, Malini Karanad Malaha Iti Uchyande. Malini Karanad Malaha Iti Uchyande. Ahara Malatwad Cha Malaha Iti Uchyande. Uch First one is Malini Karanad Malaha. Malini Karanad. What does it mean? Because of the reason that they cause Malini Karanam. Malini Karanad. What is Malini Karanam? Malini Karanam means making something unclean, dirty. Polluted, stained, all these are the meanings. Malini Karanam, so make something dirty <coughs> or polluted or unclean. So, from this description, we understand that doshas tend to make the sharira, they tend to make the sharira of which they are also an integral part. Doshas are an integral part of Sharira. So, doshas tend to make the Sharira polluted or stained when they are influenced by Nidanas, Nimitta Karanas. So, this is one reason. Malini Karanad Malaha Idiyutsyande. Because of this tendency of doshas to make the sharira polluted, contaminated, unclean, stained, doshas are called by the name Malas. Hmm? That is important. What is Mala? Mala means in the convention, by convention, Mala means an object or a principle in a system eliminating which will make the system cleaner. Mala is that principle or object in a system, actually it is it is there in the system, eliminating which will make that system cleaner. I hope the idea is clear. Malaha. Mrujyade, shodhyade, iti malaha. A mala cleans the system when it is let out of the system. Doshas, under the influence of Nidanas, can go or can pollute the system and go to a level where it becomes necessary to evacuate them out in order to bring the system back to stability. So, when we call or use the term mala that can be of a specific meaning. Because of the, by definition, malas means they make the system cleaner when they are evacuated. So, in uh, when we call doshas by the name malas, it indicates the state of doshas to such a level where it becomes essential to evacuate them out. So, most probably you will be thinking about the Shodhana Chikitsa. So, malas actually reflect that shade of meaning as well. It is becoming necessary to evacuate the doshas out. You cannot 
accommodate it any more within the system safely. So it is essential to evacuate them so that the system is brought back to stability. So the term mala carries this possibility. This is also very important. All these things will enable the student with a better understanding of the Samhitas, the Shastra. Now, the second half of that definition, Malini Garanadu, Ahara Malaktvacha Malaha. So, second part is Ahara Malaktvadu Malaha iti Uchyande. Ahara Malaktvadu Malaha iti Uchyande. Actually, it is on this point that I sought the opinion of many experts across the state of Kerala <clears throat> to make the matters clearer. See, Ahara Malatwadu, that is one term used here, Ahara Malatwadu, because of the reason that they are entitled as or having the status of ahara malatvam because of the reason that they are having a status called ahara malatvam they are called malas that is the uh, that uh, word by word meaning of that statement then there is a question what is ahara malatva tell us more details about what do you mean by the term Ahara Malatva. We will see. <clears throat> Ahara Malatva again means the status of being Ahara Mala. The state or status of being Ahara Mala is called Ahara Malatva. Then what is Ahara Mala? Ahara mala means the mala of ahara. The mala of ahara. So there is immediately we can expect some uh, interesting or very enthusiastic questions. Are the doshas ahara malas? That is the question. Are the doshas ahara malas? This may be actually a very interesting point. This question or the, uh, the discussion to find out the answer to this question is actually a very interesting point. In Ashtanga Sangraham, Shari Rasthanam, 8th chapter, Prakriti Bhediyam, we find One, in, one interesting observation, which is actually presented as a paramadam. Presented as a paramadam. Paramadam means the matam of somebody else, matam opinion, opinion of somebody else. But that is uh, not, uh, see, by logically that idea is not opposed. So, one paramatam which is left unopposed means that is acceptable to the author as well. Apradishiddham paramatam is anumatam, is acceptable to the author as well. So, here we find one idea presented as a paramatam. What is that? This is from the 8th chapter of Ashtanga Sangraham Shariram. I'm going, I, I will give you the text. I will uh, read that part first and then we will explain slowly. Tatha cha keji dahuhu. Please listen. Tatha cha keji dahuhu. Dvidha vada dayaha. Dvidha. Vadadayaha 
प्राकृता वैकृताः च तथा चेजिदाहु द्विधा वादाद प्राकृता वैकृता च त्राकृता सप्त प्रकृते हेतुभूता शरीर शरीरजन्म ते शरीरधारणा धादु सप्ना सी दिस्ट वि फैंड द टर्म रीअपियरिंग इन ए डिफरेंट कॉन्टेक्स्ट ते शरीरधारणा धादु सप्ना देन दोषाख्या विकृता बीजभूता दोषाख्या विकृता बीजभूता मुमूर्षो स्वरूपा चलंदी सर्वेशु अभी चेहे सन्नीषु प्राकृत उलबणेन व्यपदेश सर्वेशुपे सन्नीषु प्राकृत उलबणेन व्यपदेश दट इज द फस्ट पैसेज सेकेंड पैसेज डोट बोदर अबउट द कॉम्प्लेक्स सांस्क्रिट पैसेज ईडिया इज वेरी सिंपल विच वी विल एक्सप्लेन वैकृता गर्भाश्रुत आहारस मला वैकृता गर्भाश्रुत आहारस मला प्राकृतु अवरोहंदी ते कालादिवशेन स्वप्रमाण वृद्धि क्षय योगादेहम अनुगृहंदी दूषयंदी चे कालादिवशेन स्वप्रमाण वृद्धि क्षय योगादेहम अनुगृहंदी दूषयंदी च This is a very, very interesting and very important observation. I do not know how many of the members present in this room have gone through this idea earlier. If not, don't mind. If yes, be happy. We will see. what is told here here we find a proposal from the author which is presented as a paramatam identifying two types of doshas in sharira actually no dosha shabda is used here instead simply vadadaya is used not dosha shabda is used and the two types are prakrutaha vaikrutaha cha prakrutaha and vaikrutaha kejidahu dvidha vadadaya prakrutaha vaikrutaha cha then dos vadadi three principles or tatvas which are responsible for the formation of seven types of prakritis seven types of prakritis they are called prakrutah tatra prakrutah sapta vidhayah prakritih hetu bhutah तत्र प्राकृता 
Saptavidhaya prakrte he hedu bhuda, which are responsible for the formation of the seven types of prakritis. They are called prakrta. They are sharireiga janmana ha, shuklartavasthair, janmadau, janmadau visheneva vishakrame he. Te Sharireiga Janmanaha. They are having their Janma, means origin, along with the Janma of Sharira. Ega Janmana. Sharireiga Janmanaha. Born together, of course, as an integral part of Sharira. Again, that should never be. Uh, Missed that point. Sharira Iga Janmanaha. These Prakrita Vada Dayaha Vada Pitta Kabhaha are called by the name Dhatavaha. So previously we saw that Sthunatrayam Agaramiva Dharayam B. So, Sharira Dharanad Dhatavaha. So, here we get more clarification, more clarity for that idea. They are called by the name Dhatavaha because they support doing the Dharana Karma of the Sharira, serving as inherent, inseparable, and consistent ingredients of Sharira. The word consistent is used for some specific reason, which I will explain. So, they serve as inherent ingredient. Ega janmanaha, inseparable, samavaya sambandhena sthita, consistent, unchangeable ingredients of sharira. On the other side, Another set of Vadadaya, Vadadi are envisaged or proposed, which sprout from the Vadadi, which are Prakrita, sprout from the Prakrita Vadadaya. Ah. Doshakhyanam, Vigritanam, Bija Bhutaha. So they sprout from the Prakrita Vadadaya. But Garbhadu Abhinisrutasya Ahara Rasasya Malaha Sambhavandi. They become or they uh, get manifested in their territories by getting nourishment, receiving nourishment from Ahara Rasa, which start operating from the beginning of the Garbha itself. That Ahara Rasa starts operating from the beginning of the Garbha itself. In the Garbha Shaya, regarding the growth of Garbha, this Ahara Rasa is getting from the mother. For this purpose, we find it Bijatmagana, Bijatmagaihi, Mahabhudaihi, Sukshmaihi, Saktuanugaischa, Saha, Maduscha, Hara, Rasajaihi, Maduhu, Ahara, Rasajaihi, Cha, Budaihi, Kramad, Kuchau, Vivardhade. We, we find it. So, this Ahara Rasa, based on its Dravya Subhava or based on its Guna Subhava of this Ahara Rasa, they, this Ahara Rasa nourishes these Vadadi Tattvas. Later, after the birth and uh, uh, when the uh, baby start consuming food on its own, the different stages of Agni Paga means Jadhara Agni Paga called Avastha Paga provide specific and ample support 
to these vadadi principles please note when the baby is taking the infant or the child or or who is the shishu is taking the food of any sort whether it is stanya or stanya ahara anna whether it is anna it goes through different stages of agni paga jadhara agni paga called avastha paga and this stages of avastha paga provide specific support ample in plentiful support to these vadadi principles and we call them as vaikrta vadadaya which are not prakrta vadadaya by default they are called as vaikrta vadadaya they are nourished by ahara rasa but one point which is to be noted at this in this regard very very important what is that ahara becomes sharira by a series of changes by a series of changes and it is the fate of any ahara dravya it is the fate of any ahara dravya that it should go through all these stages compulsorily any ahara dravya should go through these stages of avastha paga compulsorily only the end product end product we will discuss this in the in regard to vipaga nishtha pakam the end product which is known as or graduate getting graduated as sara that is getting the opportunity to become the dhatus that alone is known as sara sara kitta vibhajanam and everything getting formed in between they are known as ahara malas why because they are not used in the making of dhatu they are not used in the making of dhatu whereas ahara sara is used for that so this is also an important point in a broad sense anything which is used for the making of dhatu is called as sara otherwise it is a mala so vaikrta vadadaya which are nourished by the ahara and hence which can be considered as a product of ahara which can be considered as a product of uh, ahara see at this point we find that this is uh, the prakrta dosha or prakrta vadadaya or the bijas for this vikrta vadadaya so something like prakrta doshas are the biological mothers of this vikrta doshas but ahara rasa is the legal parent that is one way of understanding it so they are called ahara malas are called ahara malas and hence they possess the status of ahara malatvam ahara malatvam so this statement throws light to the entire concept of what is called as mala and we started with ahara malatvad cha malaha iti uchyante ahara malatvad cha malaha iti uchyante this passage is not fully explained there are many interesting ideas but i think we do not have that time today but definitely we will come to it later because there are some statements in both the passages prakruteshu eva avarohanti te kaladivasena svapramana vruddhikshaye yogad deham anugrinhanti dushayanti cha so these ideas are very important which are to be understood then only we will understand yadhadushtena doshena as we find it in the explain the definition of sampratti so there are many ideas which again is to be dissected further from what we have seen conventionally uh some of the points which are there in the chat box recently this year while reading same i think 
chapter 1 of ashtang hridaya vada pitta kapha set to dosha dhatu mala itself according to what role they play so i was uh, i think how should we take this treatment or where they appear as dosha dhatu mala in the shloka i hope the idea is uh, clear now can you repeat this we will repeat it any number of time no problem we will repeat this passage when we start our se next session tomorrow how prakrita vadadis becomes source of vaikrita vadadis what does it mean that is a wonder, very beautiful question that also we will discuss it we will start from these questions in our next whereas there are many sentences which are left unexplained in those two paragraphs that also we will find in our next session unfortunately or fortunately the time is so of 30 minutes is over Uh, in the morning we can't go beyond that so thank you very much i request you all to read these corresponding areas in ashtanga sangraham uh, it is in the 8th chapter of shari rasthana please read it and also you can go through all the related topics like we saw that shuklartha sthair janma do visheena vishakrime that is the taischa tisra prakrtaya and then we saw how it is becoming seven prakrtaya similarly broad idea about the dhadu parinama broad idea about what is mala and which all situations we find the usage of mala why certain things stuffs are specifically called as mala all these ideas we should have a thorough understanding about so we will come to it gradually sanaihi sanaihi okay so thank you very much bhashayam sadhurtanam bhadram agamashalinam abhyasta karmanam bhadram bhadram bhadra abhilashinam thank you very much namaskaram